and Let's containment unit. unit. Matt, right. this is Jessica. She's also Hi, a volunteer, and Hi. I, her mom. Hi, Jessica. Hi. How are you? Every year, hand knits through the year. Oh yeah, we have scarves. Oh, so, yeah. To give out. So every year, her, Jessica and her mom. Yeah. 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 My mom does all the work. Yeah. I just pass it to wow. everyone. <laughs> she has the patience for the knitting. <laughs> It's a form of meditation, isn't it? Yes. yes. For some people it is. For me it's frustration. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the needles in the right places. No, no, I can do it, but it doesn't uh, doesn't do anything for just you. Sitting, I'm not she can do it and not watch what she's doing. I'm not oh, yeah. that good. I have to actually watch what I'm yeah. doing. So I can't do anything else. So it's not she can do it and watch television or have conversations and I'm like, Oh I just messed up a stitch, I gotta do it again. Gotta pull it all out. Yeah. <laughs> Start over. But yeah. So where are you guys from? Okay. I'm, I'm from Maplewood and this is my son. He, he lives in France and he came to visit me for... Uh, oh, awesome. Cool. Welcome. And you guys are videoing for... The show. I put it on... The, I have a, a something on the, um, Comcast in uh, Essex County. Okay. So I've been doing it for about four years. And I have a one-hour program every week, so wow, all sorts of stuff. Lots right. of different things. Community yeah, social. Yeah, social it's the stuff. stuff you won't see anywhere else. Of so. course, <laughs> the things yeah. that we should be seeing. More exactly. Of. Yeah, yeah. Wake up people, people actually, a little bit. Yeah, actually, yeah. the things that need to be done and are being done mm -hmm. in a positive way. Mm -hmm. All we ever see is negativity. I mean, there's a lot of negativity that happens, mm -hmm. but a lot of good things happen too that get thrown aside. So they keep that conformity of know everyone being a sheep if you keep telling you all this bad stuff you're gonna keep believing all our lies mm. politically yeah so. to sort of cool. disrupt their um, you know everyday routines mm -hmm. and make them look at something different yeah, absolutely. Right? yeah. open their minds so you're with uh, the uh, New Jersey or Jersey, Jersey City, City Peace Action Movement? okay yeah, yeah. how big is that organization is uh, um, but it's been around for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Like we've been doing these last Sundays mm -hmm. for 10 years now. Rain, shine, no wow. matter what's happening out here. Giving, even if we don't have anything to give physically, just conversation. Right. You know, being able to check on our friends and see how they're doing. You know, last month one of our friends got a new apartment, so that mm -hmm. was wonderful to hear. Not sleeping on the street anymore. Or fighting with the shelters, because that's always not a really great experience. A lot of uh, bad things happen in the shelters. So it was really nice to hear, you know. What's your uh, understanding of why people actually are going homeless? Um, because no one's making any money. Minimum wage doesn't cover anything. And uh, a lot of veterans uh, become homeless because they go and fight these wars that have no purpose except for, Hi, beautiful! Hey, Good, how Asti! Are you? How are you? Good. Fred, this is Austin from Jersey okay. City Peace Movement. She's our friend. She's okay, great. The uh, this uh, she makes delicious food. It's all vegetarian, homemade, rice, homemade, homemade, excellent. Yes. Sometimes Never salad. Done. Hey, Austin. What's up? How are you? Salad. So, yeah. not yet, not yet. Hopefully, somebody's supposed to bring some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Hey, how are you, man? Good to see you. Good to see you again. Oh, beautiful. Okay, nice. Yeah. You're welcome, so we are married Thanksgiving, married everything. I'm Egyptian, yes. Shukran, shukran. Shukran, right? Shukran. Merry Christmas, Habibi. 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 Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, sweetheart. I bought the sweater for you. It's in the bag on this side when you're done eating. Come over. Yes, okay. They can come back from one of them. And how are you, sweetheart? Happy New Year.
No, yes. we have clothes too, and I have yeah. something to give you, right? Oh, don't don't leave yet. So you guys are welcome to hang around and we'll, we'll line up in a minute. Oh, right. Thank you guys. Yeah. So, so far. Hi Fred. <laughs> so Eric, what's going on? Well, we're Jersey City Peace Movement and we've been here together since 2004. We've been here in Journal Square and uh, we always call to bring an end to the wars, bring the troops home, keep the money here funded in, in uh, USA and help the homeless. And we noticed in Journal Square when we were doing our actions every last Sunday of every month since 2004, there were a lot of homeless people here and we became friends with a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, now they're personal friends, you know, of ours, and we have uh, we bring every Sunday, every last Sunday of every month since 2004, clothing and food to help alleviate the war at home, which is the homelessness issue. So today is right after Christmas, so that's yes, appropriate. Yes, today's the 27th, and I know a lot of politicians and other activists. They always remember our homeless friends on two days. Usually it's Thanksgiving and Christmas, and then they forget about them the rest of the year. But mm -hmm. we're here cons consistently every month. And it's not only that one day, we were also here providing friendship and other assistance on other days. We've helped them get, you know, get uh, on public assistance. Some of them, some of our friends didn't even know that they were qualifying to be on, on public programs. So we would, we physically bring them to, to uh, the social, you know, for welfare and, and food stamps and such. And we also lobby in, in uh, city council, at the freeholders. Yeah, freeholders is the, all the, all the uh, cities that come together and uh, try to get extra... It's like a county. Correct, yeah, exactly. It's a county. county yeah. And we uh, lobby them and, and meet there and have... We, we're always, you know, demanding them more bed space, more services, more uh, programs. Here's one thing that we've been lobbying for for a long time. It still hasn't come to fruition. There needs to be a liaison between the homeless person on the street at 3 a.m., and the service that's overwhelmed as it is. There's no there's no driving service. Mm -hmm. They expect the homeless person to get, you know, 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., whenever. Jump into a taxi. And then go to 33rd Street, which is, you know, 36th Street, uh, in, in Perk. It's in uh, uh, 36, Union City. Union City, yeah. oh, okay. There's only three shelters, and there's uh, Perk, which is 30, and they all do great work. St. Lucie's and uh, Hoboken Shelter. Those are the three shelters, mm -hmm. and there's only 200, actually 180 beds, 180 beds, and that's for almost 2,000 homeless that in, they count. In the county? Yeah. That they know? Yeah. yeah. And this is like a big center for them, right? Hi, brother. How okay, are you? Sure. Thanks, man. Okay, so here's the pizza. I'll let, yeah. you, do, I'll let you do your work. Here's some of the Thank pizza. Every, we always give out pizzas. And stuff. Okay. Um, and we, we also uh, network with other organizations, such as um, uh, the Sisterhood here. That comes. Hi, how are you guys? Yeah. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Food Not Bombs. Food Not Bombs, Action 21. Uh, so International Action Center. Okay. Uh, who else, Alex? What other groups? Uh, you have your the uh, oh, Guerrilla Activism Network. Guerrilla Activism okay. Um, who else? The Sisterhood. Yes, Sisterhood. New Jersey Sisterhood. Yeah. All local organizations. Yeah, these much? are all the, the groups that have been coming the last, uh, uh, definitely the last year. Okay. But over the years. So there's a lineup already. Yeah. Guerrilla Activism. Uh, I saw that. Um, GoPro Radio. Uh, they help us out. Okay. Yeah. And this happens every, no matter the weather. Yeah. We've been here in, in brutal rainstorms, in, in, in uh, snowstorms, literally, you know, a foot of snow. We've been here, so it doesn't matter. And we, uh, we come and we help our friends with what we can. And also we take, if you will, orders. I mean, some people they need a coat, you know, we need a certain size, they need certain shoes, so we put this out in our network. Hey, we need a coat, we need a wheelchair, we've got wheelchairs for, for our friends. We've gotten people off the street. Uh, our friend uh, Alfonso, who is, uh, who, he's severely handicapped and uh, mentally incapacitated, but finally he's off the street. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, yeah, we, we do this, uh, we don't ask for monetary donation. We mm -hmm. just say bring clothes, bring fresh food. We try to keep it vegetarian, as vegan as possible, but vegetarian. Are these all the donation clothes that, that yeah. are bought? Okay, all of that has to be 
this side. They're used to the clove on this side. Well, we'll so can we get some people to help us with well, that? Well, we already, we already put in the food, like the food or something, they line up there. We don't have any other food. Okay, today. that's fine. That's and then it. we already put everything here, like men's, you know, it's in order of stuff. So as when they're done getting the food, then we'll open up the food. Unless you want to bring the food in here. This is how we do it every week. We open up and we put it on the side and then they come and they select what they want from there because some people don't want to eat, some people just want clothes. So putting them on this side gives me a lot of clothes. Yeah, so we put them on the side. Yeah, that's why we want to put them on the side. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, that's why we want to put them on the side. You got tape? You got tape? Huh? Eric, you got tape? You push me like, you know what I mean? I'm the type of shit. You stay stupid, sir. You stay stupid. No, 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 no. Go ahead, bro. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nah, bro, I don't like that, bro. I know, I know. It's all right, it's all right. We're all here for one thing. I'm trying to help each other. Not that, I don't mind. I'm mean, gonna go down your face, dude. I'm putting people like that, bro. I like that. Then I'll be going. How did you introduce your uh, friends? Um, just uh, I'm a videographer. I, I put, okay. you know, um, what do you call it? A public access uh, gotcha. channel okay. in the. Uh, it's in. It's in Essex County. Okay. Uh, Comcast, 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 yeah. Perfect. Okay, yeah. that's great. I, I just quick question. Um, yeah. Um, she did mention something about veterans um, being homeless. Yes. What, what is the portion of uh, of the homeless population that's that's from you know that are veterans? Yeah. Uh, a, a high percentage. I don't know the it exact is. number. I'm going to say probably forty percent. Maybe maybe about forty percent from our you know rough talking to people are rough. Uh, estimate, yeah. And uh, how old are they? From what war? You know, most of them Vietnam War and Vietnam Gulf. War? Vietnam and Gulf, yeah. And uh, average age, I would say, is in the 40s. 40s, you know, yeah, 40s to 50s. In, in the way, yeah. A lot of these guys are vets. Mm -hmm. And some of the, you know, the odd thing is, what we've learned over, over the, the years, is that you don't have to be in Vietnam. What we've learned over the years, you don't know who's homeless. You know, there's a stereotypical image of what a homeless person should look like. Right. You'll pass people all the time and they look dressed beautifully because right. sometimes nice clothes are donated, new right. clothes. So you never know who's homeless and who's not, or who's on there, who's the next step, who's one paycheck away from being homeless. Mm -hmm. So we never judge. This is open to the needy, everybody. No, but mm -hmm. we don't discriminate. We don't right. say, no, you can't have anything. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we always, I wonder, initially, first engaging our homeless friends, you know, why, why? You're crazy, you stay here. Bro. Why aren't you in the shelter? It's not, it's, the shelter, true, you can only stay for 30 crazy. days. I'm sorry, 90 days. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, after 90 days, you're on your own. Um, so a lot of them are kicked. I'll use the word kicked out. Because that's it. That's their own. They won't admit them when they go there. Correct. You know, they, they, they'll have their, their time there. But after the 90 days, they're, they're forced to, to leave. The other thing is that even if you're in the shelter, the shelters make you leave at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. They make you leave at 7 a.m. I didn't know that. Um, the idea is to get them on in the workforce to get to get a job. Mm -hmm. But the uh, <laughs> same kind of. Um, the uh, the thing is that some some of the homeless people are severely depressed. They, they have mental issues and mm -hmm. physically handicapped, like our friend mm -hmm. Alfonso that I mentioned. Where, where will they get a job? So, you know, 7 a.m., they, they force them out. They wander the streets. Most of them go into the libraries, the public libraries. Mm -hmm. And um, and then they come back at 5, five o'clock um, mm -hmm. to start the day over again. And, uh, you know, that's a, sh a sad part of it that people don't realize. The other thing is people, you know, a lot of people say, who don't do what we do, who aren't activists, well, why don't they just effing get a job? Lazy bums, this and that. Right. It's, not, it's much, you, we know as activists, but... It, it's much more than that. A lot of the people, you know, have just fallen through the cracks. Yes, some of them are formerly incarcerated. They, yes, that's true. But, you know, or, or they have drug problems. But, you know, a, a lot of the people who are here, even with those issues, are not incarcerated now. They can, they can have a roof over their head. They can have three, uh, two meals or three meals a day right now if they committed a crime, right? They, all they have to do is commit a crime and they'll be in jail. 
but they don't do that. These are chronic homeless people, for whatever reason they're here, they, some people choose to just be on the street for whatever reason. And the least we can do is alleviate mm -hmm. their, their, their hurt, their pain, you know, a little bit. And in addition to that, we're calling for all the wars to be ended. Bring the troops home, stop these endless wars, stop, it's insane already. You know, stop the, the surveillance everywhere. And the, the you feel the war is actually creating a homeless problem or was it, was it exist? It existed before, but I, I've seen an increase since the wars have, have uh, endless wars uh, have gone on. So uh, we're saying end those wars, keep the funds here to help the people who are in these situations, create more shelters, create more beds. You know, we've lobbied for years, even just for 20 beds, make it from 180 to 200 beds. They don't want to do that. Even. And I think, the, the, I think I don't want to, you know, they can't say it, but I think the, the, the mentality of, of the powers that be is if we build it, they will come. You know, if we make more beds, then there'll be more homeless. If we put 2,000 beds, then there'll be 4,000 homeless that come. And that's what I think the, the, ra the rationale is. They're not actually saying that. No, 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 no. They do not say that. But I think that's what's the mechanism. Not behind every Or the perception will be that there's an increase in yes. homelessness. Yeah, I think, yeah, if you provide, you know, uh, something, then more people will come looking for that. that From service. somewhere else. I think so. Right. I think so. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's a shame. A lot of our homeless friends have died over the last couple of years. Some of them have fallen off the walls. They, they tell them, this is actually public property. That's why we do this here. That's, that's private property there. And they've, they'll sleep on the, on the parapet, on those small walls, sometimes, and they'll fall off. I'm like, oh, they have your own that's uh, New Jersey Transit property? That's New Jersey Transit, yeah. That's actually partially, you know... Port Authority. Run. Port Authority, that's Port right. Authority, yeah. yeah. Port Authority, it's a path station. So you mean they're sleeping right there on the edge? Yeah. Right before they used left. to sleep here, um, before bam, the, the bam, new bam, mayor, bam, bam. this was like their little area at night, but the, as soon as the new mayor came, the first thing that they had done was they put them on the So they don't allow the homeless to, to sleep here anymore. And without having any um, provision to take care of the homeless, that right. call it their, their bed. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to have homeless, right. you know, uh, in destitute situations. But provide something. Let the people know. Some of them, like I, I explained earlier, they didn't even know that there's services available to them. How you doing, buddy? How's everything? Um, and they don't, they don't know that these services exist. You know, and it's just the, the social services building is just down that way. You know, a few blocks down, past over there. That's right, on Bergen Avenue. Uh, Cornelison. Yeah. They moved okay. it. Yeah. Okay. It used to be on Bergen, but now it's on Cornelison. Okay. And uh, so, you know, we're happy to go with our friends, guide them, sit with them, and, mm -hmm. and bring them to these services. In addition to provide... You know, Why are they going? Or they don't know? Or they're they just intimidated? Know. They think they're going to be rejected? or That too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally went with one person. And, um, you know, you have to go through these metal detectors. I went through one, and the person was going through the other one. And the people there were right away, you know, get out of here. What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know, the police them. officers, man. Right? Yes. Yeah. And because, you know, he, the person was a little disheveled looking. And, you know, the person was right away started to just go the other way. And I said, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, this person's with me. This, what, what are you doing? You know, and so they, they put up these barriers. And mm -hmm. so this person, I don't want to say like, oh, you know, this white savior complex. That's not what yeah. it's about. Mm -hmm. But had I not been there, this person would have just gone away. Right. And, and not gone through the, and it is a long process. It's hours and hours of waiting. But at the end of that, Time, you can get some kind of assistance, something, some kind of some monetary program. assistance, monetary assistance, maybe food stamps. Mm -hmm. uh, one person that we took there um, hadn't been in there. He, sh she said, "Oh, last time you were here was like seven or eight years ago, and you still have 42." They knew on the computer they still had 42 dollars on their on their card that hadn't been used from wow. you know, almost. And, and she said to the person, "You you qualify for everything." Right. She goes, why are you on the street? And the person starts crying a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. They don't even know. They don't know these. You know, it's really, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. And, and all this money that's wasted going overseas, killing people that mm -hmm. have never threatened us, have never, you know, bothered mm -hmm. anybody here in the United States of America. You know, uh, it, it's it's really sickening. You make a direct link between the money that's been spent in the military and then uh, 
the social degradation, this social situation that's degrading around here? I think so. I think so. I think there is a direct uh, correlation. And it's not that we, you know, people say, oh, you don't support the troops, you know, and all this nonsense. And it's not, it's not that, it's not about supporting the troops, you're not supporting the troops. It's about supporting the wars, you're not supporting the wars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anybody, any country has a right to defend itself, right? Mm -hmm. Any country on the face of the earth. And that, including USA. But, we're, you know, we're saying, we're saying we support the troops so much, we don't want them to go into these brutal wars to begin with. You know, we weren't the ones so easy to send them. You guys were, meaning the people who supported the war. You mm -hmm. sent them. You know, we're the ones who really support the troops. Keep them home here, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also, you know, then when they get home, they become, a lot of them, homeless. And uh, where's the, you know, the, 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 their, their hospitals are in shambles. Their, their, their services are, are, you know, just horrible. So we're saying once they get back, where's their social services? Is it something that happens during the war that some of these people are like, Unable to actually rejoin society. Yes, yes. You see that? Uh, yes, I, 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 I love it. No, I've seen it in, in documentaries. I've met a few of them. You know, they get uh, post traumatic post traumatic stress disorder, and uh, yeah, some, it doesn't affect everybody that way, but a lot of a lot of people. You know, you see things that you can never unsee. You know, you're killing people. You're, mm -hmm. You know, it, it's sad. So. And where do, where do you get all these uh, supplies, all these, do you get donations for this people? This is all donations, yeah, like um, the, the, this ladies group, they bring the, the, some of the food, uh, Jersey City Peace Movement, we, we make some of the food, um, all the donated clothes that you saw there, the bags and bags, those are donations. It comes from private donations? Private donations. Just people, people you know? People we know, uh, people that hear about us. Some people will walk by and they'll run home and they'll, they'll come Did back. Did you get something? Yeah. We don't ask for any money, mm -hmm. ever. We only ask uh, bring vegetarian food, if possible, mm -hmm. and uh, clean clothing to give out. And ironically, the two things that we really need to give out mm -hmm. and, uh, are the two things people don't usually donate. Underwear oh. and socks. Mm. And that's what we constantly hear people asking for. You know, mm. and, and, uh, you know, it's sad because they, they, they need to change our underwear and right. socks too. And those are the two things that we always hear, always ask. We have asking. donuts! We want donuts! We have Thanks. donuts! Thanks. Okay. Donuts! Get your donuts! Get your donuts! <laughs> Straight from the bakery on a Sunday morning! Get your donuts! <laughs> I'll have a donut. I have a donut. Oh, okay. I'll have a donut. Thank you. I don't know what you like, sir. So, so yeah, hi let ladies. Us, hi, how are you? So I, I gather you're uh, you're Muslim, right? Yes, yes we are. Okay, and but we represent NJ Sisterhood, yeah. which is not a Muslim not affiliated a Muslim. organization. Okay. It's an organization for all sisters in the New Jersey area. Jessica right here is our president of our. She is also the founder of NJ Sisterhood. Her ideology was not to make it just for Muslims, it was to make it for all women okay. in New Jersey to come together. But you were sort of motivated by religious reasons for the charitable work that you're doing? Just to bring out women. Bring oh, okay. out women and youth to come out and advocate. For and humanity. Empowerment. Yeah. That was just something we you always felt that same. was the we right thing? Yes. So did you know all the all the, each other yes, before you did do. that? Yes, okay. yes, we yes, all do. we all grew up here in Jersey City. In Jersey City. We know all of these homeless people too. We don't just know each other, but yes. we pass by them every single day, and little by little we started doing little things for them, and then we all came together and decided we could do bigger things if we just worked together. It was a natural thing for you to do, or did you have to think a lot about? Uh, no, no, just, just do it. It comes out really? of our heart. That's really? all. Just yes. do it. Okay. Yeah. So Jess how do you? Here uh, has children. To... Everyone has children, and yeah, we still come out here every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. We bring our children out here every Sunday every, yes. we're here every Sunday wow. NJ Sisterhood is here every Sunday we're the only organization here every single Sunday and that's why we're very familiar with the homeless people here because we do come here every single day. 
Yes. Have and you then been, one Sunday, have you been noticed by the press? Is anybody asking Jersey questions Journal, about yes, Jersey Journal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jersey we've been Journal. noticed, but you know, our our outreach is not for media outreach. Our outreach oh, is for humanity yeah. and the people. So a lot of times when we're because we really do it with our heart. That's yeah. what we really do. We don't mm -hmm. think about what we are what we get benefit from. We yeah. want people to be benefit from us. So we turn down a lot of the press if it doesn't benefit the homeless people. If it's to raise awareness and to bring more people down here, we have no problem. But if it's for the benefit of just writing an article, we we have turned down a lot of that mm -hmm. because we don't want that negative publicity. Mm -hmm. We want people to be aware of our organization, be aware of what we do, and just come down and help. That's you, all so it you is. are originally from Egypt? Yes. No, we're not Most, all no, Egyptian. No. I'm Colombian. She's Colombian. Oh, you're Colombian. Yes. Okay. And I'm from Egypt. Egypt. You're Egypt. And, Egypt. and okay. we have a woman and here that's here. here. And so you came from there. So were you surprised when you... Uh, when you start to live here that there was so much poverty? I mean, America is supposed to be a country where everybody has plenty, right? <laughs> That's what my not really, because our homeless are not like this homeless. Our homeless have no clothes. Our homeless have no lights. It's our really bad. Our homeless have no water. You okay. know, it's not our homeless don't have an extra jacket. Our homeless have absolutely nothing. So when we came here, we, we recognized what the losses that the homeless people have here. But our homeless there are in detriment it's right completely, now. Uh, it's a destitute. completely different Hi, atmosphere and a completely different environment. You can't go with a pot of soup to our homeless there. Our homeless there don't even have shoes. You know what I mean? They get no help at all. They get nothing from the government over there or no help whatsoever. So who helps them? God. God. And if we were there, we would. But you know, there, there is nothing here. But they have organizations there that yes, do that. They do now. They so, do now. It's emerging. Yes. So it is a tradition. And are women involved in these also? Yes. yes. Women actually in, guide them. Women in, guide in them. Egypt. Yes. The women really? guide these organizations and develop these organizations mm -hmm. in Egypt. But again, you have to remember that it is a third world country. It is not a lot of money that comes into the country to be utilized or enough resources left mm -hmm. over to utilize for the country. So as women, you can only do so much before mm -hmm. there's a cap. And so right now we're at a cap in Egypt. But you know, hopefully things change and laws change. Mm -hmm. God willing, you know, all you could do is pray, right? What would you do? I mean, besides praying, what would you do? What would you tell the government that they need to do to help uh, I would definitely change the situation? Advocate for equality. Advocate for equality in regards to jobs. Advocate for equality in regards to workers that are educated quality in regards to insurance in regards to hospitals there is a, a very a scene digression and within the government within Egypt you know so you have to stabilize the government first mm -hmm. before you can stabilize the people because that's the, not the case right now that's not the case we don't have any stabilization mm -hmm. but then you have to remember Egypt is a 3,000 year old country it's one right. of the oldest countries in the world and we were able to survive this long and we will survive for the next 3,000 years what about here what would you tell the government of what the situation I mean this is the richest country in the world and yeah. and well, yet we well, have not necessarily we're not the richest now okay because the euro the euro does surpass the american yeah, dollar okay. the canadian coin surpass the american dollar we are not the best and we are not the richest right. we are not okay what, what would you tell the government to change i mean change i know you we're only we're only number one in incarceration here in the united states of okay. america we're not number one in anything else why don't you change that try yeah. to be number one in yeah. education try to be number one in housing and clothing people yeah. and we wouldn't have so much of an issue right they and put too many people, people in prison something. yes we want to start with ourselves if each person will put their hand we have a better place. Mm -hmm. will, nobody will be hunger. Nobody will be uh, homeless. Mm -hmm. So we all have to involve ourselves mm -hmm. into helping each other. Your neighbor. In Islam, right. we we take care of our seven neighbors from right, right. and left and up and down. All around you, seven neighbors. So you're watching your neighbors and making yes, sure they have I, everything. Yes. When my neighbor got robbed, we wouldn't ask him, "Do you need help? Do you need anything?" Mm -hmm. We ask our other neighbor when something happens to them. We go and ask about them, mm -hmm. their holiday, things mm -hmm. like that. We keep in touch. With, some people do don't like us because we're Muslim. Right. But guess what? They were so happy that people they see us. We go knock on the door and say happy. Allah. That's part of your faith to actually take care of others. Yes. 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 Right. Even if we're not Muslim, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it teaches. Yes. That's the way it teaches. Mm -hmm. all that's the, what all, makes it easy my education to, to help is Islam. Them. and not be able to pass by people, knowing that you're a Muslim and knowing that your religion. It's very difficult for us to see homeless people and pass people. Yes. Every single one of these ladies you're standing next one to right now will drive past people mm -hmm. and stop their vehicles in the middle of traffic and mm -hmm. jump out and help that person. And so <laughs> yeah. instead of us 
sitting here and saying, what can our government do? What can you do as a people? Right. As if a your person, government yeah. is not changing anything and only those 10 people represent you, you are the mass. You are the other 99%. When we say other 99%, we're talking about getting together as the 99% and changing the world for yourself. Instead of allowing the government to have so much control over you that you can just sit here and do nothing and save the government. But Americans government, don't have that mentality to go and help each other. Not at all. They don't because we live in an individualistic society. We come okay. from a collectivist society. So yes, we yeah. work as a group. Individualistic societies do not work as a group. They work for self. That is the difference between us and them. And that's why we want to bring that collectivist mentality. That's right. the point of NJ Sisterhood. To teach yes, people about collective. our collectivist culture and to bring it to their individualistic culture and to embed it and to show them that you don't have to just care about yourself. That you can help other people and it will still be just as rewarding and it will still surpass in your life and it will still be rewarding in your life. From what you see, do you, are you hopeful that uh, the mentality is changing, is going more your way? That's why you continue seeing? coming here every of Sunday course, at 12 o'clock. Of course it is. When we first started this, well, Jess is the founder. When yes. Trisha started this, there was only two or three people. It was Jess and her children and maybe Sinet here. Okay. You know, now look around. You have five different organizations that come out once on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then you have us, who just leads every a group Sunday. of about 30 people that come out. That doesn't happen overnight where you can collectively get together 30 people and have them dedicated to every Sunday to coming out here. So this happens when you work together. When we came together and said, forget the government. Forget any utilization that we can acquire from the city, from the mayor. We could do this ourselves and look look around. All of this comes from us. We collect these donations. We go around to people's homes. We cook the food. We bring them out here. This is our money, our time. And I feel like if we can do this as four people, anybody could do this as a You've been in the, doing this for 10 years? Yeah, more. More, more than 10 years. Yeah, more now. Well, God bless you. Thank you, Thank you so very much. much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for interviewing us. It's kind of beautiful, isn't it? Nice color. Yeah, but I don't want to look beautiful. Excuse me? I don't want to look beautiful. Why, why, why not? Nice, yeah, beautiful, no. What's the difference? What's the difference? You're raising your hand. I can wear any side of the coat. No, I want no picture. No picture, it's no picture. Help them out, please. Go ahead. Um, uh, our friend here, he just explained to us about some of our homeless people, yeah. friends, other friends who have fallen. There's, there's been like about five people that have died from uh, falling off of that ledge and everything. Yeah. Stuff. It's epidemic. It, yeah. People falling yeah, off the ledge. And they know that, and stolen. they know who it is. They know that these people drink and everything else, because they always send a wagon for them and everything else. And what they do is when they get down to the medical center of Christ Hospital, all they do is put them outside the emergency room on gurneys and they let them sleep it off. 
And sometime around at night time, or like or maybe three, four o'clock, they toss them out and they come back here. Because either because they they don't have enough insurance coverage or whatever, but they toss them out. You mean even after they injured, they don't treat them? Even though they they have to have them taken by ambulance to the hospital and everything else, all the hospital staff do is leave them outside the emergency room on a gurney and let them sleep it off. And then come morning, they kick them out without giving them anything, to, anything any treatment to eat or drink or anything. At least not than I know of. That's the one on Montgomery? The, the one oh, on the uh, most the of hospital. them have do that. I've I, I witnessed that. I've seen homeless people. Because I've, most of them I've have been do there. And it, it, especially in the winter, yeah. it's nothing but... Most of the time they do it because people. they don't want nobody in the same room as the, the really sick people and everything else. They figured, well, that's, uh, we're going to see this guy maybe tomorrow again or the next day because he's a constant alcoholic. Now what they're doing and stuff is, all they're giving him is a wristband that says, subject to falling down, and that's it. But the minute they come back up here and everything else, they take off the wristband, they, they, they take the discharge papers, and they either throw it in the garbage or somewhere in the bus terminals and stuff, where, so that the cops don't know who they are and everything else. But the cops already know them because they have, they have a description of them, and they see these people on a daily basis. Because after a while, a lot of these pe the doctors in the hospital and Port Authority police officials, they know who these people are, but yet they, because they have to keep calling the bus for them every time they pick them mm -hmm. up. And, uh, and, I, and then uh, they, they get lousy treatment and everything else. Right. So these people that, that that need to be in the nursing home, yeah. or they yeah. need to have somebody, to, uh, a little yeah. guard, yeah. guardian yeah. to take care of them, yeah. because they keep coming back up here. I'm a witness now, to that. now what's going to happen? I, 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 now what's going to happen is yeah. they're going to wait until somebody else busts their head and files a lawsuit. Then it's going to be in a big paper. Man, for family sues oh, uh, for one point something dollars because somebody got hurt. How, how many died so far? Five These people. Have five, died. Died. five that I know of. This just just recently, in a couple of years. He's absolutely right. I've been to the emergency rooms, and I've seen. I'm talking two in the morning, three in the morning, and I've seen at, in the winter that is the makeshift shelter. The, the, the shelters are overrun. They, they, push they put them out. outside the emergency room and they and leave them on gurneys. So it's costing the taxpayers money. You know, anyway, somebody's paying for all this. They're getting somebody's getting billed. So. The, these unfortunate people end up in the in the shelter. I mean, sorry, in the not in the shelter, but in the, in the emergency rooms, which outside are overflowing the door, yeah. outside the door. Sorry, mm -hmm. and I want to show you one other thing. And not only mm -hmm. do they put them over there, but now you're seeing them in the banks and everything else. They, right. they use the banks as homeless shelters, right. and everything else. They use that bank over there. They use the bank down there, and, and they use the banks over here. I want to show him. Or because come, they, they, they to do what I want to show him about the. the there were spikes. There were spikes. Metal oh. spikes. That we put here. Let me just show you here. This planter was never here. This was a wall for people to sit and they could enjoy. This was a 9/11 a memorial fountain, right? Mm -hmm. Because we gather here, and because the homeless um, gather here, not only homeless but everybody, even people with homes, they sit here. This has only been here for maybe one year. Up here, they had put spikes, so we made a big issue out of that. Jersey City. Police, what did What did we you went, do? We went to City Hall. We wrote letters. We condemned. We called our city council people. We said, "How dare? Why are you putting spikes here? This was a, a parapet for people to sit down and enjoy the fountain." Because of and it's a small victory. This is a tiny, tiny victory. But because of our action, at least they removed the spikes. It was an insult to every. Well, they person. put planters instead. They, the plant. Well, it, 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 the spikes were on top of the planters. We okay. still would like these removed. We don't even know why now these are here. Those you should be. You, this should be benches, right? This, this should. These are benches. So you said because the homeless people can't sleep on this, they actually were sleeping on the ledge. Yes. And they were getting injured yes. because of it. Yeah. They did, are. Did anybody approach the Port Authority about that and, and said? Other activists they, have. Yes. Okay. Yes. Other but, activists uh, have. They haven't gotten a no response. I, right. They say you shouldn't be there anyway. Uh, the reason. The reasoning for all this is because it, there's going to be two buildings that are going to be going up here. Okay. And giving them all tax, ab tax, tax abatements. abatements and everything else. So they're slowly, slowly, slowly a over, thousand dollars. You know, over the last decade, uh, really slowly, slowly so trying to push out the homeless. But this is a hub. This is a transportation hub. Right. And people will gather naturally, even the people who work. That's where you want to go, where the transportation is quick to New York. So people will come here, they beg for money, they ask. And they also try to, sorry, criminalize begging. That's hmm. another thing that we, we... They come and tell they want, people and that you can panhandling is illegal here in Jersey and they, City. And tell and them how much to find. Uh, how much they want uh, to find of how much? Uh, I think $2,500 or $100. $2,500. And that, they want to give a fine, throw them in jail for 90 days. These are, to, if you, this is what the city council and the mayor wanted to do. And we sh shot that down too. We, we Who's the mayor now? Mayor Stephen Fuller. Yeah. yeah. 
And you know, some, he's good on some things, but these issues, not so good on, you know? So we shot it down, finally he backed off of that. Mm -hmm. How can you criminalize somebody? They don't have money to begin with, and now you're gonna fine them? Well, not on that, well, but now they want to move them. the monuments and everything else over there. Do you see a monument? Well, that is going to move. They're going to move that. Else. They want to move that. They yeah, want to take it away from here. Yeah, yeah they're going yeah, to relocate they move, it. Relocate so this is going to be a high, uh, um, high, high cost condos. apartment? Yes. They're trying to revitalize yes. Journal Square and everything else. And, yeah. because, and the way they're doing that is by giving all these big developers tax abatements uh, yeah. for 10 years, 20 years or so forth. Meanwhile, what's happening to all the money that the federal government gives yeah. appropriates to the state? They're putting all that money that's supposed to go to a certain into their own pockets. So the deal is done right now, right? Done. They, yeah, it's the done. It's just yeah. a matter of time. But yeah. they're giving them like a Do you think there's going to be a fight here between the people yeah. who uh, who live here actually? Yeah. Who, you know, there 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 is kind of a fight that's been going well, on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, out of mind and out of, out of sight, out of mind. Nobody yeah. will button. When, once we move them out of here, nobody will care what happens to them in area. But that's not the that that's not going to work. Uh, because New York and city is having that same problem. The only difference between here and New York and stuff is uh, New York got 32 different outreach programs. You get your food stamps and uh, your money in about a week mm. to 10 days, and they find you housing. And now I saw the mayor, uh, made the, uh, the mayor over there want to open up pre war uh, right. sanitarium. But, but because the homeless situation has gotten so bad in New York, they want to reopen it. So he wants to appropriate money uh, for that, uh, mm -hmm. that san uh, sanitarium over there in New York. But other than that, New Jersey only got the, the, the three shelters here. St. Louis's, Perk, and uh, the Hoboken shelter. In this other, county. In this county. Right. Other than that, they got nothing, every, uh, nothing else mm -hmm. here. And every time they come up for, vote, uh, for a budget vote or something, it's always the social services that get, get cut first. They always look for that than anything else. Thank you very much. And your name is? Frank. What's your name? Frank. Frank. Thank you, Frank. Okay, you're welcome. Some of the tiny victories we've had, of course, getting people off the street, friendships, mm -hmm. plus just educating the people about what's going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know about, you know, the war is still continuing mm -hmm. and the loss of freedoms here at home. So we, we've educated a lot of people. Hudson County had the lowest support for these wars. And when they did a poll in the Jersey <laughs> Journal a couple of years ago, Hudson County. So we have to take a little bit of credit for that. Mm -hmm. Getting these spikes, you know, how humiliating is that? Finally, the, the city and the mayor had these spikes removed. We, um, you know, we've gotten housing for some of our friends. It's the tiny victories, these are drops mm -hmm. of water in the, in the ocean of... Sure, sure, but they mm -hmm. matter. You know, even help one person. Yeah. At least that's helping one person. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do we want to help a lot more? Absolutely. Lots of red tape that gets in the way of mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of towns you can't even do what we're doing. Like, right. just yeah, it's illegal. Illegal. Now to feed the homeless. Not here. Where? Not here. Well, Florida. Florida. Certain, yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to think of a couple. There are a few other states yeah. that are actually making oh, oh, it illegal. Oh, 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 on public yeah. property, I can't give somebody a sandwich. I, can't, I couldn't give Jessica. She couldn't give me a sandwich. Or you can't do that. No. You can't share a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, That's they, illegal. You know, if, you, if you're homeless or what they deem as a homeless, you're, you're giving people. Food? No, the rest of it. They arrested a gentleman. How old? He was in his 70s or 80s? Yeah. Some, some, yeah, very old man. I yes. think he was in Florida, right? Yeah. Yes. He was in yes. Florida. They right. arrested but I think he won his case. That's what I heard. Well, yeah. He went, he went to court. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right. They said it was like yeah. free speech. That. You can't. Right. Free yeah. speech. You know. Right. This is the, that's the most basic. They've criminalized humanity. They, they've yeah. criminalized uh, uh, you know, being mm. a good person. How do you yes. criminalize that? Now, now talking about this, what, what sort of legal help, I mean, uh, is there any organization involved in defending uh, homeless people, you know, there are. give there's them some for their rights? Lawyers that, that do some pro bono work, of course, but there's certain groups here um, that will help, uh, you know, th there's a women rising for, for specifically female women uh, mm -hmm. who have issues, legal issues, uh, mm -hmm. and, and their children. Um, there's some other organizations, Action 21. They deal mostly with Latino, mm -hmm. uh, Hispanic, uh, uh, you know, people who do translation. They'll, they'll translate things to court and such like that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's some, a couple of other organizations that, that do reach out and help. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's a hard, it's hard, you know, because we're constantly spinning our wheels. And there's so much to do, and, and you know, then the, the powers that be build another fire, and then we have to run. You know, we're not, we're not done. Putting this one out, and right. we got to, Oh my God, there's a fire mm -hmm. one. So they love to put as much obstacles as yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. they're really not trying to bring people together, and that's all we want. To help 
Yeah. yeah. Instead of and, uh, separation. And, yeah. And there's no. I want to make this clear. I didn't. I, if it didn't come across, there's no ulterior motive. Nobody oh, here's gosh. running for any political position mm -hmm. out of Jersey City Peace Movement. Mm -hmm. no. We're not running for any office. We don't ask for money. We're not doing this for some kind of uh, status. status. Yeah. This is just done out of the goodness of our heart. There's no hoops to jump through. If you mm -hmm. want to be a member of Jersey City Peace Movement, if you want the wars to stop, mm -hmm. and you want to help your neighbor, give them food, please stop by. We're here you know, 12 to 2 every Sunday since 2004. I'm sorry, every last Sunday. Every last Sunday. Right. Yeah. Um, so there's no ulterior motive. That's it. We're not, we don't gain anything. Spiritually. Yeah, oh yeah. Spiritually, maybe. Our hearts yeah. Broke. yeah. I just saw a friend that I hadn't seen for months. And to know that he was still alive and still has a shelter over his head was mm -hmm. made my day. You know, Great. those are the things that matter. Being good to one another. I know you need to ask for you. I'm going to get teary eyed. Yeah. <laughs> he always asks. It doesn't yes. matter, you know? Too much, uh, too much things are, there's too much focus on materialism and all these things that just don't matter. Mm -hmm things of just having a conversation with someone that doesn't get conversation is uh, beautiful, yeah. I think. I see you're making, okay. see you making faces here. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a new guy, we just met yes. him. Hello. He's new. Yeah. I help. I'm Great. not new, I've been doing this for two years now. You have? Oh, okay. I give out hot dogs. You're from Jersey oh, City or so? No, I'm from Bale. Bale. I help the needy, homeless. I'm a pro bono from Great, wonderful. I help. Thank you. Thank you. Help. People are hurting everywhere. And I'm helping. <laughs> yeah. And we had a lot of homeless people. Mm -hmm. but they the mayor took him out? Like to talk to you a little bit, if you would like um, I guess your experience, um, you know, she, they're saying you've been here very long, and I was to see what um, what what you think about the changes. There ain't no changes. There's been no changes. You've been here for how long, man? Fifteen. Fifteen years. Yeah. And you're for originally you are from uh, from from. Uh, I'm originally from North, but I'm raised and had my children over here in Jersey City. Okay. My oldest is 37, my youngest is 27. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, I was picked for an apartment and a house lot. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting five years. I'm still waiting for that apartment. In housing in Jersey City? Yes. You, your name is on the list, but yes. And they told they keep telling you that you're not. Uh, no, they talking about all oh, they opening the books now from when people first signed up. But you ran this lottery in the newspaper, mm -hmm. and you picked me for it. Right. I won it in 2010. This is 2015, about to be 2016. How much longer do I have to wait for an apartment that was promised to me? Okay, you, you, nobody don't want to tell me anything, but guess what? I'm about to get a lawyer and I'm about to find out something mm -hmm. because it's not right. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't still be out here. I should be in my own place by now. Mm -hmm. I should have been in my place. And when you ask them, it says, what's going on? What do they tell they you? They're opening the books now from when people signed up for housing with them. So they just like drop the whole list and yeah, reopen yeah, yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Is that legal? Is that I don't wrong. know if it's legal or what, but it's wrong. You think they're cheating you? Yes, mm -hmm. I really do. Yes, I do. And it's not right. I understand. You, of course, obviously, you'd, it'd be nice to have your own place. Yeah. It's like they sit up there and talk about they allocate all this money for the homeless. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Why the homeless don't see any of it? Where's where the money going, you think? Where is it going? It's going in their pockets, the politicians' pockets. Mm -hmm. You're hiring your family members in this one and that one, and you're paying them with the money that's allocated to the homeless people. Be it Jersey City, Union City, Hoboken. Oh, Hoboken is favorite. Because Jersey City has to wait to a certain time before we can get on the bus. Mm -hmm. But you pick Hoboken up at 8 o'clock at night. Y'all don't pick us up till 9.30. How fair is that? Mm -hmm. hmm? Why we got to sit out here and damn near die from pneumonia. Oh, Boken, they nice and toasty warm at the 
woman said to Ann Curry, mm -hmm. and we still waiting an hour and a half. Are you fucking serious? Mm -hmm. Excuse me for cursing, but I really get emotional when I talk about mm -hmm. this subject because it's not right. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if you ban me from the center ever again, but you people, you're wrong. You're very wrong. Mm -hmm. How woken, what is so important about what they got the best bums or something? Come on, we this all out here in the street homeless. Who the hell want to be out here till 10 o'clock at night? Freezing. So the only way you could get there is... is they got to pick us up on that bus. Because mm -hmm. if they, you don't get on that bus, you ain't getting in that building. And that's the... And then we got police escort. For what? They ain't helping us. Sandwiches over there for free, chips and anything I made from my store. Oh, oh. All right, baby, I'm coming. This is this is every day that that you have to every day. you have to do this. Every day, every single day. Did you ever have the you know the like the mayor of Jersey City come out and well, actually talk to? Well, he don't care. He don't care. He ain't got to worry about me voting for him ever again. Mm -hmm. You do vote. Yes, I vote. Mm -hmm. My vote don't count, so what's the sense of me voting? Is this the man that just came and told me he's saying what you're welcome. Bless you. So you've been here 15 years. You must have seen a lot of people pass by here. I mean, right? in and out 15 years. In and out. You know, man, I've gotten off the street. Mm -hmm. and things, but stuff happens and you end up back out. So I came back to my familiar surroundings. Mm -hmm. I came up to my familiar surroundings. Mm -hmm. People I know, some people I can trust, some people I know who care about me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. Here, baby. Don't come back, man. But you made some friends here, right? I mean, yeah. these people are good, right? They're helping out? Yeah. Like Eric and them, they come out here, they make sure we eat, and they bring us clothes, our little um, personal hygiene and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I appreciate everything any and everybody do for us. Mm -hmm. But our own city ain't doing nothing for us. They refuse to believe that we really have a homeless situation. They actually said there was only 365 homeless people in Jersey City. And I know that's a lie. I know that's a lie. There's more people homeless in Jersey City than any other city that's in, around this area, Hoboken or Union City. There's more homeless people in Jersey City. I'm sorry, no. Mm -hmm. But what are y'all doing with the money? You got one shelter in Jersey City, you got one shelter in Hoboken, and you got a shelter in Union City. And all three of them shelters tell you when they drop you off there, you got to get back the best way you know how. The only one that take you and bring you back is the woman center in Curry. And I would rather go there every night, and I don't care if I have to carry everything that I own. Where you going every night? I go to the woman center in Curry. Okay. Right around the corner from the jail. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I mean... <laughs> Somebody in there, they need to, <laughs> they need to investigate that too. Did it ever happen that you ended up like not being able to make the bus and uh, ended up in the street overnight? Never. Because that would be uh, that would be really bad, right? I mean, it's kind of... I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't I would know where I could go and sleep at in my face. Right. But I'd rather go inside. Right. I like taking baths. Yes. Like, yeah. You know, I mean, like it makes sense. Shower. You're entitled to it. Yeah. So, but it's just things that you just don't like. That's right, Ma. The way they run in things. Mm hmm Because it's messed up. No organization. You got people who telling the people who's supposed to be running it how to run it. Mm-hmm. You work for the correction, but we're not inmates, we're not prisoners. Don't treat us like that. Who treats like that? Who treats you like that? The, the administration, the people? The I just told you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not right. Right. 
How about health care? How about health care if she gets sick? Uh, what, what do you do? Well, they'll call an the ambulance for you and you go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. They don't pay for it. Right. But you get to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But then you go somewhere you've not ever been and you don't know where you're coming from. Right. How am I supposed to get back to Jersey City? I'm from Jersey City. So what do I look like going to a hospital in Kearney and I'm from Jersey City? I don't know nothing about getting from Kearney to Jersey City. And you, you're not going to bring me back. Mm -hmm. mm. You still have family here in Jersey City? Mm. How are they mm. doing? Okay. They're good? I don't bother them. No? They come and they check up on me, make sure I'm all right. Mm -hmm. You know, take me to lunch and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I don't ask them for money. They don't have room for you? Yeah, I'm always told to come home, but it's not home to me anymore. Because? I've been out here too long. Yeah. So, I don't consider that home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my family house, but mm -hmm. it ain't mine. That's your your son, your daughter? Yeah, my baby, really. Okay. My daughter lives in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. My oldest son lives in Rhode Island. My middle son lives in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. But they do. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of my children. Mm -hmm. They ain't trying out like me, but I try my best. Um, and they doing good. All of them graduated high school. Two of them graduated with scholarships in college. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm proud of all four of them. Because they're doing their life in the right way. Thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate you talking to us. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Good you. luck to you. We'll see you later. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.